What's up guys, Larry here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about how I got the products that I'm gonna be selling on my Instagram store. I spend the money like I just got paid. Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change, come on. And if you don't know, my Instagram store is Incredible Cards and I'm gonna be selling sports cards and collectibles. So let me show you the collection. Let me show you how I got it. So in the sports card market, I'll say that there's a lot of people online selling sports cards, which means there's gonna be a lot of competition for you know, attention. There's gonna be a lot of competition for sales. And one of the things that I decided to do was actually do black glove, black glove openings. And what I mean is, anybody who buys from me is gonna know that the cards never touch skin and they've always been handled with glove care. So hopefully that gives me a little bit more of a competitive advantage, but also just a unique selling point, you know, right? Like not only is this both for protection of your investment, but for protection of yourself. So I'm hoping that that'll get me a little more attention, drive a little more sales, at least establish more trust. Just see who we got. Looks like Cavaliers, maybe Larry Nance Jr. Oh, look at that. All right, so here, look at this. So you can clearly see, like if I just hold these two cards together, you see the designs are similar, but one surely establishes more value than the other. Um, probably not a super high value card, even with this parallel, but I'm gonna keep it anyway because this is something that if someone bought a card from me and then they saw this in there, I'm sure they'd be pretty stoked. Like, wow, this guy just threw in some extra cards for me, generates more business. And that's the whole point of this channel is I'm doing this as a fun side hustle because I loved collecting sports cards, but here's an opportunity for really, to really show off what I would consider to be great business skills, to always be generating more sales, to always be generating a better customer relationship and just getting people excited about buying from you specifically, not just buying sports cards, but buying your sports cards. So let's just put that there. So I got nine more packs to go through. I'm just gonna bust through them really quick, see what I get, and then we'll talk about what the next stage of the plan is for the business. So in that last pack, I pulled another Zion Williamson rookie base card. I'm really excited to have any Zion Williamson rookie card, no matter what brand or set it's from, because I believe if all goes well and the big man doesn't get any more injuries, the more you have, the better, the happier you'll be. I pulled the Zion rookie, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by uh, triple layered protection. So the first thing I do, card sleeve, then plastic case, then team bag. So anybody buying cards from me will first get their card. I gotta do this carefully. Step one, the card itself has its surfaces protected by this thin layer of plastic, which I then protect by a hard layer of UV protectant plastic. And this is important for shipping or just long-term st long storage. Tap it a couple times. All right, so now I could send this card in the mail and it has something that will also keep it flat, keep it sturdy, but this isn't it. I take it one step further, pull out a team bag, upside down, inside the team bag, remove the plastic film, and this is my triple layer protection. So now this card has been secured by three layers of plastic which will make sure that it's protected from the elements, but it's also rigid and solid, so it protects it from movement damage, scratches, especially as I put other cards on top of it and I start moving these around. And as you saw when I originally pulled the packs out of the box, this was the fat pack. 
So this pack contains the high value card and usually a fat pack means it's a, a relic or a piece of a jersey inside of a card. Now I would absolutely love to pull something LeBron James, something Kobe Bryant, something Zion Williamson, Cam Jordan, uh, Ja Morant. Let's see. Definitely not Joe Harris. No offense to Joe Harris. We're just going to do it on camera. Let's see what we get. And here we go. Oh, Bradley Beal. That's not too, too bad. I have a Bradley Beal piece of jersey. Again. So this is the big pull from that box. And what I will say is this box was worth it. Simply for the fact that we pulled this Zion rookie card. Uh, and the box usually retails for, I think, $20, but I had to pay $30 on Amazon. Uh, this, I know I'll be able to sell for $30 at some point. If I wait even longer, I can sell it for $60, $80, 100 I don't know how many years that may be. But let's just assume two seasons from now, I would imagine that even the base Don Russ Zion Williamson card will probably bump up in value. I'm willing to call this a $45 card in two years, this one specifically, as long as things go well. Since I start opening packs to get cards for the store, here are the highest ticket high value items that I'm the most proud of. Ja, or excuse me, RJ Barrett, Ja Morant, Triple J autograph on card. So here's like my little Ja section. I got a couple rookie cards there. I'm really excited about this one. It's like a arriving now rookie card, but it's got that special kind of foil sheen in my house. Only two Zion rookie cards so far, and then another, well, two Zion, like Don Russ from a like, good, good brand that I'm excited about, and one Hoops. This is the first card that I used to start my collection. Good amount of Kobe's, Cam's, uh, Rui Hachimura's, and then just some cool, like uh, Jason Tatum Prism, since he's killing it this year, Anthony Davis, Purple Wave, also Prism, Rui, uh, Jason Tatum, Rookie Kings. So these are the super high value plastic stuff all this stuff will be available on the store on the instagram at some point this is this these are the seeds these are the things that i'm just going to let grow in value i'm going to keep them protecting the plastic and you probably won't see them on the instagram store for a while but here is the first part of the collection here we have the box of cards that contains all the stuff that i'm ready to move on ebay right now so i'm going to pull out some of these and show you what i'm talking about and I'm super sorry if any of this is like hitting the table too hard and how annoying it can be. So we've got this Trey Young Purple Shock. Cool. Russell Westbrook Orange Parallel. Joe Harris. Eric Pascal. This is actually going to be pretty cool. Uh, if this guy turns out to be a beast, I'm sure someone's going to be happy to get it. Ty Jerome. This is another. I forget what this series is called. I think it's a, is it the Purple Shock again? No, this is whatever this is. Uh, it's a, a parallel from Optic. Ty Jerome rated rookie. Uh, Jonathan Isaac autograph, Joel Ballenboy autograph, Donovan Mitchell rookie, I'm going to go ahead and sell, Josh Jackson rookie, I'm going to sell, Jarrett Culver, if I can get something, we'll sell it. These two I'm going to package together. We have the Hunter Renfro rookie card and then the Star Search jersey. So if I move both of these at the same time, I'm excited to sell those. Boom. RJ Barrett rookie card. I should probably save this because I only have one in my collection right now, but I'm going to go ahead and move this one. Chris Paul silver base prism. So it's just a parallel, but the silver parallels are a lot more rare, and maybe I can get some money for it. And then Darren Fox also. Trey Young, same thing. LeBron James insert. Uh, and I have a couple of LeBron cards that I really like. This one, I'm going to see if I can move it. Uh, Lonzo Ball, orange parallel. Zion Williams insert, but it's a rookie insert. Let's move that there. Klay Thompson parallel. Kawhi Leonard insert. And Larry Nance Jr. autograph. If you're still watching, awesome. Colin Sexton autograph. This is a dope card. I'm excited to have this, especially since Colin is dropping points on people. I think he got 40 points recently, so this is going to be cool. We'll see if I can get some excitement behind this while basketball season is still happening. Uh, otherwise, I'll save it till next season. We got NFL jerseys from the rookies and stars, so Christian Kirk. Another Hunter Renfro. So maybe I can put together two of those packages because I think I have another one of his rookie cards. Um, David Montgomery, Ty Jerome, Ricky Jersey Patch, Jordan Poole, Ricky Jersey Patch, Cody Martin, PJ Washington Jr., more jerseys, Andrew Wiggins Jersey. I have two of these actually, so I hope I'm assuming I'm not gonna get the greatest price because if I have two of them myself, I imagine like you know, 
unless that just happened to be my luck. There could be a decent amount of these out there. Rookie Remembrance, Clay Thompson jersey. I'm in the Bay Area, so I might be able to move this one locally. Paul Millsap jersey, Prism. Grant Williams jersey, and he's doing decently well. Harrison Barnes. Anthony Davis jersey. Bull Bull rookie just for fun. LeBron James, parallel, orange parallel. Kobe White, Kobe White, Kobe White. <laughs> Another Sekou, Cam Reddish. So yeah guys, that's how I planned on getting product for the store. Uh, again, I opened packs and all of the stuff that I have for the store so far is from open packs. And I have some feedback that I'm gonna share about that in the next video in regards to surveying the marketplace and understanding my marketplace and making a business decision. To make the fan and collector in me happy, I opened a bunch of packs. It was a lot of fun, it took me back to my childhood even. So it was really cool. What I'm going to do from here on though, it's now it's, it's all business. I have enough cards that of different values that I can, you know, start my Instagram account and actually start getting some content up there. And by the time that you see this, the Instagram account is already live. Incredible cards on Instagram is already live. So please, if you're watching this, go follow because I'm still probably going to be running this side hustle because I just love sports cards too. Uh, like I said, it's all business from here on out. So I think that the way that I, and you know, I'll just give you guys the business plan. The way that I want to run this is like this. I think buying packs all day, every day to try to open everything, I think that's a sucker play. And here's why. It's like gambling, right? And maybe I can break this down in the next video, but packs is gambling. You're hoping that you're going to get something awesome, and then you're hoping that you're going to sell that thing. But that hope is driving you to buy pack after pack after pack after box after box box after box after box and if you hit something big you're like boom dope I'm super happy I got something huge ready let's go right but if you don't hit anything big you've spent all that money and it's just like Vegas right the house always wins whoever's supplying you with the packs I would say long term is likely gonna make more money than you will as the person always buying and buying and chasing and buying and chasing and buying because you're gonna get a ton of cards that are worth money but in order to get the money you have to go through the process of convincing someone else that they want to trade their money for the card the easiest way to do that is to sell super high valuable stuff but the mid tier low tier five dollar four dollar three dollar cards that you will get a ton of it's a lot harder to move those individually, so you have to get real creative, and that's what I'm doing. The first half of this business, yes, I know I get it thus far. I've been opening a ton of packs to get these cards. So I'm gonna take that one and say, starting the Instagram account, this is my business decision. Starting the Instagram account was the reason why I wanted to open a ton of packs, because I wanted cards to show on the Instagram, because this Instagram store, my strategy is not to just sell cards. Selling cards is actually just a way to help me buy more cards. The true genius behind my Instagram store, I'm going to have to tell you guys next video. You'll see it though, and you'll understand. I promise. Thanks for watching. Wish me luck. I'm out. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do, I just feel so good, good.